I'd probably give an interesting opening, but I'm too stressed out to give it. Why, you may wonder? Because of the modern lifestyle. I just can't be the only one who can't handle it. Hello, everybody. I'm Aditya Badevia, and today I'm going to spread awareness on mental illness. What is mental illness? Mental illness is a wide range of chronic illnesses that affect mood, thinking, and behavior. While mental illnesses are depressing, people can still be successful. Well, examples of these people include Ryan Reynolds, Chris Evans, and Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Let's start with the most common mental illness, depression, something popularized by Instagram. Depression isn't cool. It is not something you use to get likes. Depression is a heartbreaking and sad condition which drives people to suicide, homicide, and self-harm. It isn't romantic. It needs thorough help from a therapist immediately. What causes depression? Stress. Lots of it. If you find yourself in a stressful situation, please relax. If it goes too far, remember, never kill yourself. It is one of the worst things that you could do to yourself and the pain that it causes to other people is unbearable. If you find yourself in this situation, talk to a trusted advisor or dial for a suicide helpline. Now, uh, what's the difference between sadness and depression? Those two are almost the same things, right? Well, they're not. Sadness is an emotion that you feel naturally. Suppose your favorite hero gets killed with a snap. That's pretty sad, right? But you do get on with living your life normally. With the depression, you can't. It's a mental disorder which, which can persist for several years and can even last your entire life. It is then not the same thing at all. Now, um, let me go for tangent by saying that my gra great grand uncle loves me. Uh, well, he used to until he got dementia. Now, dementia kind of sounds a bit silly when you think about it. It's an illness which, where people forget stuff. Uh, my great-grandfather loved me a lot. He taught me the alphabet. He taught me how to have fun. He taught me nursery rhymes. My entire childhood was, the s attraction of it was my great-granduncle. And then he got diagnosed with dementia. I first, at first I thought, what's the worst that could happen, right? He'd only forget a few things, but then I was wrong. When I visited him three years ago, he couldn't remember my name. I had to tell him three times in a day, and he still didn't remember what my name was. Then, the year after that, when I visited, he, he took me up. Like, he sent me outside of the house because he thought I was a robber. It is not something that you can live with. Like, Dementia makes you lose the ability to control over your life. You forget memories. And after all, memories are what make us human. As of now, there's no cure for dementia. And I just, I can't handle it. So what else is there? Many mental disorders are caused by stress. Uh, disorders like insomnia, the loss of sleep. Now, where does this stress come from? The stress comes from us. us from society. Society doesn't want us to be good. They don't want us to be great. They want us to be the best, the best at everything. And sometimes that stress is too much for people to handle. This stress can allow like it in small quantities, stress is good. Stress helps us out. But in large quantities, like what most people are going through right now, it is unbearable. Social media doesn't help this either. So um, people post pictures of themselves on social media to attract attention. This causes self-esteem issues. It might even ca cause anorexia and bulimia in, you know, advanced cases. So what, what's the cure of this? Everybody relax, chill out, don't set expectations too high, and don't take responsibilities which you can't handle. And if you must, Spread it with few people that you trust. What else can we do? We can also help our family when they're going through a stressful situation. We can support mentally ill people. We can donate to charities. 
we can even fund research and cure. But most importantly, we should be happy. Thank you for listening to me. And uh, remember to spread awareness. Thank you.